1,400 metres on the turf, and away they go from the 2,400 metre marker. Jay Power is the first one to go. Delamere's right there with the red silks. Valmont's near the rail, the pink cap. Dun Career, Sugar Buzz, his approval's on the outside, that's got the blue cap. Then Forestry Law, Innate Quality, further back in the running is Jamal, and at the back of the field at this stage is Night Tide, and they stretched out about a dozen lengths as Jay Power is the leader. Delamere in the red is second, and then Velmont, his approval. Then comes Sugar Buzz with the white cap near the panel, Dun Career. Forestry Laws on the outside, then Innate Quality and the two greys, Jamel and Night Tide, the last two. They're easily a dozen lengths off the lead as they go in behind the drill all. 1,600 to go, and J Power is controlling the pace. Delamere is second, Valmont third, and then comes Sugar Buzz near the rail. Blue cap of his approval, that's racing about five lengths off the leader. Dun Career and Forestry Law travelling together. Innate quality, that's got the white cap, and then Jamal with the green cap. Night Tides, the trailer, still that dozen or 14 lengths off the leader. And it's J Power, it moves to the 1300 area. Delamere is second, and then Valmont back third. Then Sugar Buzz and his approval, Dun Career, Forestry Law. Innate quality and Jamal and Night Tide continues to trail. Still this dozen lanes from top to tail. They move to the region now of the 900 metre and J Power continues to lead it. Delamere is stalking it in second. Awakers Anton. He's not going to let J Power get away from him. Three lengths, Valmont. Then his approval, Sugar Buzz. Further back in the running, they're really now starting to step on the accelerator behind that forestry law. Dun Career, Jamal, and then comes Innate Quality and Night Tide. Top of the lane and J Power. Delamere is now being asked to run. Then Valmont, his approval, Sugar Buzz, Forestry Law. Jamal's got a dozen lengths to make up. Edge J Power, Delamere in the red, his approval, Valmont. Then Sugar Buzz, but J Power still goes from Delamere past the 200 meter marker. And it's J Power still clear. His approval tries to run on Sugar Buzz, get going late, but J Power is still going strongly, and J Power will win it. Sugar Buzz will come out second best, Night Tide third. His approval ran fourth. Number three, J Power, the J Pig. He's a relentless galloper. He just doesn't throw in the towel. He goes a good pace. He can set a comfortable pace and he just continues to go. Rewarded for consistency, was runner-up in his last three, and he's now won three from 15. Keegan DeMello gets on really well with him, and Jay Power is victorious. Well done to Bram von Hastine and William Henderson, and they win it by two lengths. Paul Lafferty, the winning trainer, and they come home two lengths to the good. Second goes to Sugar Buzz, must be said a very good run out the Maidens. Third position, the grey Night Tide, who came from the tail, will just get that third position. And the fourth position will go to his approval. Probably just beats Delamere and then Forestry Law, Valmont and Dun Carrier. Further back in the field, well, as we look at the head-on and Jay Power continues to plug away. His approval, Delamere, Sugar Buzz, and then Valmont down the inside. No kind of run from Innate Quality or Jamel, but the victory is for J Power. Number three on the tote. Ends up the tote favourite at 290 until the running of race six. Back to the studio. Well, thanks to Paul Lafferty confirming his horse's well being here. Number three, Jay Power. Well, he's turning out to be a lovely stayer. The four year old son of Jay Peg, Jay Power, now notching up his third career win from 15 starts. And uh, he's a horse that enjoys racing up handy, and uh, he's uh, been there throughout 
this afternoon. A very big thank you to you, Paul. You know, you came over and you gave us, uh, you know, some uh, information about Goldie Coast, and you also spoke about this horse as a massive runner. But firstly, give the guys some feedback on Goldie Coast uh, run. Well, I think Goldie Coast run has been a very big run for us because we first time we've seen him settle, and I don't know why we've taken so long to go to the pacifiers. She's always pulled very, very hard. Today, Arthur Marcus put her to sleep. She ran a great race. She couldn't concede five kilos to the other horse, but we're pleased with the run. It means it extends her parameters of where we can go with her distance-wise sure. as well. She's a very useful filly. She's already placed in a group three, and she's got more to come as well. So I'm, I'm thrilled with her, and I'm thrilled with the pacifiers, and a, a very good ride by Arthur Marcus. I mentioned it on air, you were confident about this horse, you said exceptionally well and you were spot on. Never been better. They interviewed me, I said, uh, he's a real out and out galloper D, he's a very good horse who's getting better and better. He's, he's by Joe Pound of a jet pastor mare and he's a big, happy horse. You, if you watch the race and as, as the rider will tell you, he pricks his ears all the way around. Turning from him, I knew it'd have to be a very good horse to beat him over this trip. He'll go very far in, uh, distance wise and uh, we haven't got to the bottom of him yet. Well done to the owners here, of course, Bram van Heesteen and uh, William Henderson. Yeah, Billy and Bram will be uh, very excited, you know, uh, they, they, they've been very good to us and uh, they're both good mates. So uh, whenever uh, Billy's around, we end up on a golf course, he loves his golf and Bram, Bram's the better player of all three of us, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Find it out to believe. Yeah, no, no, Bram's a very good golfer, don't let him trick you, Bram's a very good golfer and uh, no, they'll be pleased, they love the game with a passion, especially Bram and he's having a good run, so this is very good for him. Two more runners left? Yeah, you know, I think with the headwind, uh, it, it brings a very honest horse, Auction King, with a lightweight into the race. I think if the hangman's back anywhere near his juvenile form, he'll be extremely hard to beat. But uh, if it becomes a scrum, we will be into that scrum because our horse doesn't know how to run badly. And in the last race, hoping for some improvement? Yeah, Tenebers. Tenebers is a, uh, a horse we don't know that much about. We're only starting to find our way with him, but he's turned his, in his coat. I'd gone on 18, but we found this 2,000 from, so we're going for the 2,000. Throw him in larger quartets, but we're a little in the dark. Give our best to the owners, Paul, and uh, thanks for that feedback again. Really appreciate it, and I'm sure the punters do as well. Well done. Thank you, Dees. Thank you. Well done to Paul Lafferty, the gentleman that's been waiting patiently. Let's step out of the sun here, Keegan, if we can. You get on well with the horse, and you gave him a positive ride again. That's the manner in which he enjoys racing, but uh, you had to dictate and you had to set the fractions up front. I thought you timed it and read the race beautifully. Thank you very much, DJ. Yes, you know, he's that type of horse. You know, he'll go to the front and he'll tell you where he's happy. Um, um, he just um, runs him off their feet, and um, when you ask him to quicken, he gives you that um, good um, burst at the top of the lane, and um, he stays on well. So um, just well done to Mr. Leff, and um, obviously well done to Roy as well, and uh, thank you to Mr. Van Hastien. Thanks a lot. It's 2,400 metres, and you know, you, you, you often don't see horses winning by this type of margin because when you press the button, it was easy, wasn't it, Keegan? Yes, like I said, you know, Dees, yes, he goes to the front and, and when you ask him to quick and he just runs him off their feet and um, yeah, well done to him, he's, he's, he's a really nice horse to ride. Nice to be back here because I've seen you in the, the two, three and four box a lot of times, but uh, this was a nice ride. Well, what about the rest of your, of your, of your rides later on? Yeah, Dees, well, yeah, thanks a lot, it's nice to be back here, yes. Um, um, Auction King is probably, um, he's probably my next best, I'm um, with the 54 in you know, Mr. Laff, he's probably given you enough confidence to, to be in the first four, so let's just hope he can run a nice race. Well, you've been consistently in the money, you've been rewarded this afternoon, and uh, as I always, say, always mention, Keegan, keep up, keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Deason. Yeah, thanks a lot to everyone for the support, I really appreciate it. Well done. Thank you. Keegan DeMello on number three, Jay Power here, and uh, rewarded for consistency again. I think he's a horse you'll have to pencil in. Uh, he's really done it effortlessly over this 2400 meter trip, and he looks like a horse that will stay all day. Two, seven, eight, and four. His approval rounding off your quartet here, race number five.